So I'll leave these nodes here for reference. And let's go ahead and create our first navigator, which is the create switch navigator. I'm just going to remove this default class app that we had created and we'll directly export our create switch navigator here. So first let's say import create switch navigator from react navigation. And then we'll say export default create switch navigator. And here our first screen will be the auth loading screen and it'll point to a screen named auth loading screen. As we can see, it says it cannot find it. Let's go ahead and create this screen. So we'll say new folder. We'll call that folder screens. And inside that, let's create a new file called auth loading screen. So while that check is happening, let's show an activity indicator here on the screen. So let's import activity indicator from react native. And here let's get rid of this text and in fact, pass in the activity indicator. So let's assume that when the user first logs in, we store the user's token into our local storage. So let's import in async storage here. And let's create a method which will check if the user's token is available in local storage or not. So let's call that method load app and we'll make sure we use the async await syntax available to us. So we'll say async and here we'll say const user token. We'll await for the token to come back. So we'll say async storage dot get item. We'll assume that we called it user token. Then we'll say this dot props dot navigation dot navigate. And we'll see if the user token was available. Then we'll navigate the user to the app. Otherwise we'll navigate the user to the authentication screen. We're yet to create both these routes. Let's save that out. Now we want this load app method to be called as soon as the screen loads. So let's create the constructor method here. And inside that as always, let's call super. And then we'll say this dot load app. Obviously nothing is happening here right now because we don't have these two routes created. So let's come back to our app.js and let's add our two routes. So here, our second route is going to be the auth route and it's going to be a stack navigator by itself. So let's call that the auth stack navigator. So here let's import in the stack navigator. So we'll say create stack navigator from react navigation and let's go ahead and create this navigator. So we'll say const auth stack navigator is equal to create stack navigator. And inside that we need three screens. The first screen will be the welcome screen. So let's just call that welcome and let's make it point to the welcome screen. The next screen will be the sign in screen. So let's point that to the sign in screen. And the last one will be the sign up screen. So let's point that to the sign up screen. So let's go ahead and create the screens. So inside our screens folder, we'll say welcome screen. Sign in screen. And sign up screen. Let's import these screens here now. And there, if you notice, now we're not getting the activity indicator. We've been directly taken to the welcome screen. That's because in our auth loading screen, we didn't get this user token. So it decided to navigate us to the auth stack. The auth stack over here points to the auth stack navigator, which in itself has three screens. The first one being the welcome screen. And by default, the first screen always becomes the initial screen in the stack navigator. So let's complete our auth stack navigator by adding our two buttons to our welcome screen. So in our welcome screen.js, here on top, let's import in a button and let's replace this text with two buttons. So we'll say button title. The first one is going to be sign in and the second one is going to be sign up. As you can see, we need the on press prop on both the buttons. So here, let's put an on press. And if we click on the first button, which is the sign in button, it should take us to the sign in screen. So we'll say this dot props dot navigation dot navigate and go to the sign in route. And similarly for the sign up button, we'll say on press this dot props dot navigation dot navigate. And we want to go to the sign up screen. Now if we click the sign in button, we see we go to the sign in screen. If you click on the sign up button, we see we go to the sign up screen. And as I said, because we're using the create switch navigator, there is no way to go back now to our auth loading screen. And that is exactly what we want. So in the next video, we'll go and set up our tab navigator and our draw navigator once the user is signed in.